Anyway, the father, the professor, his name is Ethan Rickover, and... Recover. The remarkable Mr. Monk. Good to see you again. <coughs> well, Mr. Monk, what a surprise. I heard you were sick. No, no. No, I'm, I'm feeling much better. Much? Oh. Much better. That's a relief. So, you came all the way downtown just to cheer me on. Uh, uh, That's nice. I'm here because you killed my wife. <laughs> I'm sorry? You heard me. Trudy, Allison, she was a student of yours at Berkeley. You had an affair with her, she got pregnant. And 12 years ago, when you were nominated for the appellate court, you made sure that story never got out. You killed two women. Wendy Stroud uh -huh. was the midwife at the birth. My wife. Well, they told me to expect this. They said that at every confirmation hearing, the nuts just come out of the woodwork. Judge Rickover, we know the whole story. Oh, really? Mr. Monk, I taught thousands of students at Berkeley. Some of them were unstable. More than just a few had crushes on me, but uh, please, where's your proof? Where's the child? The baby died. Baby died. Birth records, paper trail? Gone. It's all gone. You took care of that. You sent Joey Kazarinsky to the birthing center last week. They were <laughs> updating their files. The director must have found something about Trudy, about the baby. So you had him killed. You have been covering your tracks for 26 years. No, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Mr. Monk is sick. He's seriously ill. He's obviously not thinking straight. She made a tape. Judge. She made a tape. Of course she did. The woman was delusional. I remember. Trudy. Ellison. Ellison, yes. She used to follow me around. She wrote me letters, phone calls at two, three in the morning. I remember that she also claimed she was pregnant. She probably believed it too. She was quite an unstable woman. Apparently you had a lot in common.